Hello everyone, welcome to another Java for Testers tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about super keyword in Java. Now super keyword in Java is really important to understand and it is a reference variable which will be used to refer immediate parent class object. So what all you can do with the super keyword? So you can access the immediate parent class instance variable or the method or the constructor. So let us understand how you can utilize super keyword to access the parent class variables method and constructor. So let me say for example, uh, I'll create a new package here and I'll name it as com.rcv and I'll say cup and click finish. Now within this, I'll create two classes. So uh, I'll create a parent class. I'll name it as parent and then I'll have the child class. So let me create a child class. And now in the child class, let me include the main method. I want to execute this child class. So for example, now in the parent class, say for example, you have defined the instance variable. Okay. So let me say I have defined an instance variable uh, string uh, employee name and the value that i have given here for the employee name is say for example tom okay and then i have defined another instance variable and i have this is employee number and the value is some random integer right and let me create another method within this parent class so i'll say public void get data and then i want to get the data so basically i'll just print whatever data that is available here or whatever data that i have defined in this particular parent class right so employee name and employee number i'm printing here okay so this is our parent class where we i have defined some instance variable uh, one employee name and uh, employee number and then I have defined a method which is get data, which is just printing these employee name and number in the parent class. Now in the child class, I want to access all the, you know, uh, variables and uh, the properties that are defined in my parent class. So I'll use inheritance to implement inheritance. I just need to use extends keyword and extend the parent class. So I'll name the parent class and now this child inherits all the properties of the parent class. Now in this class, say for example, in this uh, child class, I have the same variables, okay? Same instance variable in this class as well with the same name, same employee name, em employee number, but the values are different. Say in this one, I have the value, say for example, Abby, and I'll change this to some other integer, right? And let me also create a method and I'll say same method, so method with the same name. So I'll say public void. Let me copy the same method and get data. And now I'm printing this same information. So parent class also has the same instance variable names and also the same method as it is in the child class now say for example i want to access these methods so i want to say i'll create an object of the child class so i'll say child class c is equal to new child and now i want to print so i want to print get data method okay let me print that and if i run this it will print the data that has been provided here ab and the employee number that is provided in this child class now what if i want to access the data and the method that is defined in the parent class that's where super keyword is helpful and it will be uh, providing you the details or it will help you to access the instance variable and the method that are defined in the parent class now how you can use it so say for example I want to access 
uh, the variables that are defined in the parent class. So here in the get data, say so for example, I don't want to, to use the variables that are defined here. Now I can simply use the keyword super and then I'll say get data. So what the super keyword do is, let me comment these two lines, right? So now what this super keyword will do is it will call the get data method from the parent class, this method. Okay. And now if I'll print or run this particular program, you will see Tom and four, five, three, four, five has been printed, which is basically coming from the parent class. So this is how you can call the method. Now, say for example, you want to access the instance variable that are defined here. So since the name is same, if I want to refer to the value that is defined, uh, that is allocated to this particular variable from my child class, I'll also use the super keyword, right? So let me comment this. Let me uncomment this print statement here. And instead of employee name here, what I'll just append is I'll simply say super dot employee name and super dot employee number. Okay. And if I run this now, you will see still Tom and four, five, three, four, five will get printed. If I remove this super keyword, then the values that are assigned to these variables in the child class will get printed. So let me run this and you will see Abby and 65778 got printed. So this is about the uh, instance variable and the method. Now say for example, you have the requirement to call the constructor of the parent class as well. So in this particular case, we haven't explicitly defined any constructor in the child or parent class. So internally, uh, you know, what happens is when you call uh, this or when you create an object of the child class, it by default calls the constructor of the parent as it already adds or it adds the keyword super internally. So within Java, uh, say you have a child class and when the child class is being run, the constructor default constructor is called. Then in that constructor, super keyword is by default added and that's how the parent constructor is referred to. Now, say for example, you have the parent constructor, explicit constructor defined. So to define the explicit constructor, let me have the constructor. So the name of the constructor has to be same as the class name. And uh, let me add a line here and I'll say parent constructor, right? So this is the explicit constructor in the parent class. Now, if I don't call that, you know, uh, this parent constructor explicitly, what happens is, let me run this and you will see, I haven't called, I haven't defined any explicit, you know, constructor, but still internally what happens is in the child class, if you execute or create an object of the child class, you will see that by default, the parent constructor has been or an explicit constructor that you have you know, mentioned in the parent that has been called, right? Now, say for example, I have a couple of constructors or parameterized constructor in my class as well in parent class. So how can I refer to those constructors from the child class? So these are two constructors. Now in the child class, say for example, I want to call the parent constructor so let me create an explicit constructor in the child class as well so i'll say public oh, sorry so here public and your child and the name of the class and say for example i want to call this constructor with uh, the with the parameter as an integer so what I have to do is I simply have to say super and if I say this particular keyword, then it will call the parent constructor, this one. Okay, let's run this. If I just use the keyword super in the child constructor, you will see parent constructor is called. Now, if I want to call the parameterized constructor, I 
simply have to provide any value so same as it is in the parent constructor so here it's type of integer i'll pass an integer here and if i run this you will see parameterized constructor has been called which is from the parent class all right so that's how you will be using the super keyword to access the instance variable of the parent class or the methods that are defined in the parent class or the parent class constructors so this is a really super this super keyword is really helpful to access the variables or the methods that have the same name and are defined in the parent class and you want to access those from the child class so that's all for the super keyword hope it is clear please do share and subscribe thank you very much for watching